Kiwi getting older is that now she likes to cuddle at night in the morning <laughs> in the middle of the day <laughs> she's a little cuddle monster all of a sudden and that's only been true this last couple of years actually possible that it's mostly been true since we moved. She's always had some moments. She'll like to cuddle here and there. It's never been so consistently as it has been now. getting the befores but I cleared out most of the boxes that needed to be broken down. I do still have a small pile of book boxes that I have to break down and bring downstairs along with some bags and then up here I have Christmas gifts that are accumulating in boxes and that I need to deal with. So even though everything's kind of got a little pile temporarily it's still really messy looking so I do want to sort it out and deal with it at some point along with these returns. I have a bag of returns that I'm gonna have to deal with as well and clean clothes that I need to put away and packing for the trip that I'm gonna be doing which I'll be taking you along for the ride. I did just film the Kiwi portion of the December Tabletop TBR game video. She helped pick out one of my reads. It's always a struggle but it was fun getting the footage today because she was so cute. I just made myself some more coffee with chia seeds because I'm like obsessed with doing that. It tastes so good and I personally like the texture so got that out of the way so that I'm ready for work. It sounds like they want me to help with something. Hopefully it's not gonna take too long because I was hoping to edit videos and do laundry before the trip on Thursday. Okay, so what I was trying to say here is I was hoping that this task wasn't going to take too long and end up doing a bunch of overtime because that ended up happening last week because it's right around one of our releases and there's usually a lot of extra work that needs to happen before and after work, which cuts into my personal work time. And I have a lot of videos that I need to edit. But turns out it wasn't so bad, so I have been able to do some editing before, and I do imagine I'll be able to do some editing after work as well. And it is Tuesday, so there is time. 
We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Lap cat. Can you get your eye boogers? There we go. Lap cat is lap catting. Since when did you become a lap cat? Who are you and what did you do to my non lap cat? So need to take this down and charge it. Okay, time to move this all over to the dryer. I ended up getting some hair dye, which is great because I wanted to kind of darken my roots to have more of an ombre effect since the color took differently there than it did the rest of my hair and I want it to look nicer. So I'm hoping to do that tonight after work. My book of the month box arrived along with a couple of special editions from a couple of days ago, which I will do a mini book haul. Obviously I know what these are because you choose for book of the month, but it's still fun opening packages filled with books. Okay, so we've got some seasonal book of the month stickers. The Kingdom of Sweets by Erica Johnson, a Nutcracker retelling. No one can know a, another spooky haunted house book, I believe, by Kate Alice Marshall, who wrote a book that I really liked recently that fit that vibe. That vibe. Then How to Say Babylon by Sophia Sinclair. What the River Knows by Isabel Ibanez, which I've been super excited to read. I actually almost bought it full price during another video thing that I was doing. I don't know when that's gonna go up. Uh, and then the last one is The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. Okay, and then the other books that I've gotten recently is The Queen of Myth and Monsters. This is a special edition box from The Bookish Box, and this is technically the second in the series, and I didn't realize it when I ordered it, because I don't have the first from them, and they have no intention of remaking it. So that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> I also got my August adult book box from, so this is the bookish box edition of Monsters of Death by Olivia Blake. And it looks like it's signed, all that good stuff. So I have more than one copies of these now. One of the things about being subscribed to multiple subscription boxes is you end up getting duplicates of books a lot. And at first I was really diligent about seeing when that would happen, but I don't know what they're gonna look like. So I don't know which one to cancel. So I decided to just get them and then after I have read them, if I don't like them, then I can sell and or keep them because I like having multiple copies of books that I like. Uh, and then the last one is my fairy loot edition of The Scarlet Alchemist by Kylie Lee Baker. And this one, another gorgeous edition. And it did come with a print with a note on the back and signed all of the general fairy loot goodies. So more fun stuff to add to my library. All of these new books need to be added to my book database and counted for my library total. Because in case you didn't know, you need a thousand books in a room for it to officially count as a library. And since having an actual library has always been a dream of mine, that is a goal I'm currently working on. And because of that, I did do a book shopping video, which should be posted soon. I also decided to get the GoPro Hero 12. I have an older GoPro and the like batteries and stuff aren't working very well. So it seemed like it was time for an upgrade and I figured it would be nice to do for like vlogs and wide shots and stuff.
added some more dye to my roots a darker color than what I had originally to hopefully have more of an ombre effect since it had basically had this like bright red at my roots originally and I'm not a fan of the way that that looked so hopefully this will tone it down and make it look a lot more natural and have a nice transition to my actual hair color once it grows in more so I'm gonna keep this in for a while. It's currently six o'clock and I'm supposed to work out at eight. So I guess what I'll do is I'll rinse it out shortly before my workout. I'll do my workout and then I'll wash my hair and straighten it. Okay, while I wait for this to set, I'm gonna to continue to edit videos because I'm just in the mood to edit videos nonstop. So <laughs> let me take advantage of it while it lasts. Okay, so this has been in for like an hour and hopefully it's gonna have a nice effect. It looks a little extreme here, which is a little alarming. Hopefully that's not gonna be the case. Uh, so I think I'm gonna take a really quick shower, wash it out. Okay, I just got out of the shower and it looks so much better. <laughs> like a million times better. So I'm glad I did this. Time to do more advent calendar sticker sheets. Uh, so today's the sixth, so we need the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth, because I have not been keeping up with this. And let's see what we get. Okay, so for the fourth, nice. For some reason, I always like building stickers, so that one's great. Then we have, these are photo. Yeah, photo stickers. Not my favorite, but it's not my favorite. Yeah, the colors are way too vibrant. Not up my alley. Okay, well, I like the other ones, so that's good. Maybe I'll use the photo stickers to fill out some of my planner because I have not been keeping up with my journaling. I'm gonna need to do some backfilling, which I'm not excited about, but oh well. Yes, what it is. Okay, so I started packing for the trip and I'm trying to figure out if I'm taking these torture devices or not. I look great in them, but they are so uncomfortable. They are a lot higher than I originally intended because they were the only thing available to come on such a short notice and the ones that I got originally didn't fit. Okay, okay, things are going well. I've just finished a romance that I really didn't like for a future video and then I'm starting another romance for another video that. I am liking. And I'll actually, I'll tell you a little bit about this one, even though I'll go more into it to the other one. But when I ended up getting this for my tabletop TBR game as one of the options, and I read the back, I was confusion. Because I was imagining that these two characters were swapping lives, right? So like they were going to pretend or be in place of the other person for something else. And since there's supposed to be a romance, element to it and we have a lesbian couple and a gay couple and obviously one person from each swapping I was all like I don't know how I feel about this because like one it's kind of weird <laughs> trying to build a relationship with somebody else's partner like that's weird and then two like what are they trying to make them like straight I mean I guess they could be bi but <laughs> I was just so confused and obviously that's not the case. I'm really silly for this because it's so simple. It's basically two people who have things that they can't just leave behind. So they need somebody to house sit and take care of, you know, pets and plants and things like that. So they can have this big escape and just get some time away. And it's cute and it makes perfect sense and I'm enjoying it so far. But that realization of what I thought it was versus what it actually is. <laughs> embarrassing. Anyway, today has been another busy work day. We ended up getting feedback on one of our games, so I just finished making up a bunch of tickets for that so that they can go through. They've done most of this stuff, but it's just a good way to kind of track what we've done and what we have left. And then I had some 
audio stuff that I had to work out. I still have a couple of things to prep for tomorrow. I still haven't decided if I'm bringing the shoes or not. Part of me feels like I should because I'm going to be sad if I don't have them, but if I don't bring them, I can return them. Although the bottoms kind of look a little rough. I walked around my house a little bit. I didn't look at these before. I don't think those are, that's for me. Someone else must have worn them. But yeah, those are torture devices. So part of me doesn't want to wear them and it's just dinner for one night, but my outfit would be so cute with them. And then the other part of me is like, it might be nice to have some party shoes in my back pocket because I like got rid of all of mine, but I'm never really gonna wanna wear them cause I know they're like, the heels are too high for me. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a flats kind of girl, a hundred percent. Like it's just not worth it. Most of the stuff is ready to go and packed. I also have, obviously not this one, but I have another book that I want to get some footage over there cause it's set in Vegas. I still have so many things to figure out and I'm already tired and it's already late. <laughs> I don't have that much time. Okay, hi, hello. It is travel day. I have a couple of hours before I'm supposed to leave. I'm very tired, which I guess isn't a good sign for staying up super late because not only do I have to stay up for late for myself, I'm supposed to be staying up late two hours later than that because I'm going back in time. So not crazy excited about that. Yesterday I did finish two romance books and I believe today and tomorrow during travel time at least I will also be reading and finishing books. So I'm feeling good with all of my reading. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to read next because I'm technically trying to tackle a couple of different videos at the same time. I have a blind date with the book video that I read the first book from and then I'm bringing another book from that as well and then I ended up reading this one for a romance book vlog situation. I'm excited. I did a bunch of book work yesterday. I don't know what I'm gonna do this morning in the extra time that I have. I'm trying to just like go through stuff and make sure I don't forget anything. I'm not planning on bringing my main cameras. <laughs> which I'm nervous about. But I mean, like I have my phone and I am gonna be bringing the GoPro because I figured the GoPro would allow me to get more fun type shots. So hopefully I'm not making that up and I can get some good stuff. And then I'm bringing some nail polish, not nail polish, nail stuff so I can do my nails there. But yeah. I guess I will give you an update when I figure out what I'm reading next and what I'm doing next. <laughs> Good morning, it is travel day. I technically already did an update in the other room, but let's do one where I look cute. Two and a half hours before I need to leave. I also want to figure out what exactly I'm reading. I know I'm going to be reading the mistletoe pack which is part of another video and then i also am thinking of bringing maybe like christmas and other horrors <laughs> i feel like this would be a fun one to read this one though is an anthology and I don't consume anthologies very well in like singular sittings. And I kind of want something that I could just binge read, but I imagine this is gonna be more of a like, I read a story, I do something else. I read a story, I do something else, which can be nice. <laughs> but I don't know if I wanna do that for this particular trip. I will be using my GoPro <laughs> for this adventure so that we can get some footage of me actually doing stuff in media res. No, we're, we're gonna get some action footage while I'm there and then hopefully for slightly nicer footage, I'll use my phone, but I'm not gonna take my camera, even though part of me really wants to. <sighs> I'm so nervous, that's what it is. I don't know why I'm as nervous as I am, but I'm really nervous. 
Okay, so I almost forgot my mask and on my way to go get it, I scared the crap out of this little uh, squirrel. <laughs> and I feel really bad because it was trying to run away from me and it thought I was trying to run after it. I was like, no, I'm just trying to run back in side to get my mask, I swear. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to Las Vegas. We'll be on the ground shortly. 